Today we are going to discuss about the attachment of scapula. Scapula is a shoulder plate flat bone and also known as a triangular bone. It has two surfaces. This one is a posterior surface. Also it is in convex in nature while this one is anterior surface and it is in concave in nature. It has got three borders. This border is known as a lateral border. Lateral border is also known as a axillary border and this border is known as a medial border and this border also known as a vertebral border and this border which is the shortest and thinnest border among all of them is superior border and uh, if we come to the attachment of the scapula this is known as a spine or the crest of the scapula and above the spine is this region is two third is known as a supraspinal fossa and this fossa give the origin of the supraspinatus muscle this give the origin of the supraspinatus muscle all and below the spine this all region is known as a infraspinatus fossa this give origin the infraspinatus muscle this one is the crest uh, of the spine it has two lip this one is known as the upper lip and this one is known as the lower lip as this crest is extend and it attach with the acromial bone this is known as a acromial bone and this upper lip with the extension of the acromial bone give the insertion of trapezius muscle from this to extend extension to this acromial bone it give the insertion to trapezius muscle and from lower lip to as it extends to the lateral border of the acromial bone Acro acromial bone lateral border and this one is a medial border it give origin to the deltoid muscle this one is known as a glenoid cavity this one is known as a glenoid cavity this glenoid cavity is concave in nature and it is superiorly lateral side and it is short in size then the head of the humerus because it articulate the head of the humerus and it form a ball and socket joint and this region is known as a infraglenoid tubercle because it is inferior to glenoid cavity and this glenoid cavity this structure like is known as a glenoid labrum this is known as a glenoid labrum and also it has the glenoid capsule because it help in the articulation of glenoid cavity with the head of the humerus and form a joint a type of the synovial joint and ball and socket joint which is a movable joint and this low to the glenoid cavity this tubercle is known as a infraglenoid tubercle and this tubercle give the origin of the long head of the tricep brachii muscle above the glenoid cavity there is also present a tubercle like structure this is known as a supraglenoid tubercle and this tubercle give the origin of the long head of the bicep brachii muscle this is known as a crocoid process this is known as a crocoid process and this is a crow peak like structure and from the crocoid process this crocoid process give the origin of the crocobrachialis muscles this give the origin of the crocobrachialis muscles and this superior surface also give the origin of the short head of the bicep muscles short head of the bicep muscles origin from the crocoid process superior surface of the crocoid process and long head origin of the bicep bicep muscles give the origin from the supraglenoid tubercle there is present a facet this is known as a acromial facet this is known as a acromial facet and this acromial facet articulate with the clavicle bone and when it attach or the articulate with the lateral end of the clavicle bone and it form a joint which is known as a acromioclavicular joint it is known as a acromial cla acromioclavicular joint and 
from the crocoid process there give the insertion of the pectoralis minor muscles it give the insertion of the pectoralis minor muscles we know this one is a nose like structure this one is a nose like structure and there is form a ligament when there is a form a ligament then this nose like structure will convert into a foramen this foramen like type of the structure and through this foramen suprascapular nerve can easily pass when the suprascapular nerve and the blood vessel will pass and enter into a suprascapular fossa then these nerve vessel enter into the infraspinatus fossa with the help of the spinoglenoid notch with the help of the spinoglenoid notch and spinoglenoid notch this structure is known as a spinoglenoid notch because this one is a spine and this one is a glenoid cavity and when the nerve vein nerve will enter here then they will enter here and as this they are enter into the infraspinatus fossa so if logically we think that supraspinatus fossa and infraspinatus fossa both are joined with the help of the spinoglenoid notch with the help of the spinoglenoid notch and this one is the medial border medial border from the superior angle this one is a superior angle from the superior angle to the crest of the spine this one is the base of the spine where the spine is start and there give the insertion of a muscle which is known as a levator scapular muscle this muscle is the levator scapula muscle and if there is a little bit below one third here is present of the muscle which is known as a rhomboid minor muscle this present of the muscle which is known as a rhomboid minor muscles and remaining two third will give the insertion of another muscle which is known as a rhomboid major muscles this there is a muscle which is present of the insertion rhomboid major muscles and there is also present of the muscles on the lateral side this one is a lateral side and from two third from the glenoid cavity to the two third here is a two third part of the lateral lateral border of the scapula it give the origin to the teres minor muscle it give the origin of the teres minor muscles and there is present of a tubercle like structure and from this circumflex sub subscapular artery enter and remaining one third give the origin of the teres major muscle this one is a crocoid process crocoid process form three types of the ligaments this crocoid process joint with the with the help of a ligament to the acromial bone which is known as a croco acromial ligament when it's joined with the acromial bone this is known as a croco acromial ligament this crocoid process also joined with the humerus bone there is present of the humerus bone which joint articulate with the with the glenoid cavity and it also form a ligament which is known as the croco humeral ligament and this crocoid process also joined with the clavicle with the help of the croco clavicular croco clavicular ligament and this one is a suprascapular foramen and this one is a superior border and there's also present homohoid muscles inferior belly of the homohoid muscle and some fibers of the latissimus torsi also give the insertion to the inferior angle at this region it give the insertion of the inferior angle so if we come to the anterior view of the scapula we know this one is a depression like structure and here three to four ridge like structure which is running from the medial border to lateral border and this is known as a subscapularis fossa and this subscapularis fossa give the region to a muscle which is known as a subscapularis muscle it is a multipinnate muscles multipinnate muscle mean that it is a muscle which have many fibers tendons and this converge to form a one muscle which is very strong in nature so it give the subscapularis muscle 
Here is a medial border and this medial border give the insertion of a muscle which is known as the serratus anterior muscle. The first digitation of the serratus anterior coming uh, at this side, at uh, this region and and all other digitation of the serratus anterior occur from this medial border to inferior angle. This one is an inferior angle because capula has three angles. This one is an inferior angle and this one is an superior angle and this one is a lateral angle. So serratus anterior insertion occur from the medial border to inferior angle. And uh, this serratus anterior muscle is supplied by a nerve which is known as a long thoracic nerve and if there is a lesion or problem into the long thoracic nerve that long thoracic nerve can't supply to the serratus anterior muscle then paralyzation occur or paralyzed occur into the serratus anterior muscle and when serratus anterior muscle will be paralyzed then there will be a protrusion occur into the scapula and all this is known as a winking of the scapula this is very important question according to mcq's point of view if we sketch all this back all this attachment of the scapula this one is give the region of the long head of long long head of tricep muscle the superior clinic tubercle give long head of bicep muscle and this crocobrachialis give the crocoid process give crocobrachii also they give the region of the uh, short head short head of bicep and uh, this will also give the insertion of the pectoralis minor muscle pectoralis minor and when it formed that this is known as a suprascapular nerve of foramen scapular foramen through this foramen suprascapular artery vein and nerve pass and enter into the supraspinatus fossa then with the help of the spinoglenoid notch it enter into the infraspinatus fossa and it also give to the insertion to the omohyoid muscle omohyoid muscle and from superior angle to the base of the crust this give the levator scapula insertion of the levator scapula from this the uh, and from base of the crust to here it give the insertion of the rhomboid minor then two third of the medial border of the dorsal side view are the dorsal view give the insertion of the rhomboid major if come to the lateral side this two third give the origin of the terrace minor and remaining one third to the inferior angle it give the origin of the terrace major it give three types of the ligaments croco clavicular ligament croco humeral ligament croco acromial ligament these ligaments and it also gives some fibers of the latissimus dorsi muscle latissimus dorsi and from the upper lip to the medial border of acromial process it gives the insertion of the trapezius muscle trapezius muscle and from inferior belly to the lateral border of the acromial process this gives the origin of the deltoid muscle deltoid muscle and if you come to the interior view this gives the origin of the sub scapular muscle which is a multiple nate in nature and from lateral border to inferior angle this give the uh, insertion of the serratus anterior muscle serratus anterior and if there is uh, a lesion into the long thoracic nerve then there is a problem into the serratus anterior muscle and if there is a paralyzed your uh, into the serratus anterior muscle then 
the protrusion of the scapula occur and it is also known as a hinging of the scapula so that was all about the attachment of